and welcome back guys we're going to be playing some NO1800 here I figure I'd start the series make sure it's the like button make sure it's the button let's get into it Since that day you saved my life, I have presumed I knew you. But now, a thousand letters from your father go unopened, yet one scribbled from your sister changes everything. I didn't even know you had a sister. We are broke, old pal. We can't afford a passage back to your old world, back to your family. Not unless you suddenly remembered what work is. Dynamite fishing? You're serious? <laughs> well, the village north is always short on food. Remember when we escaped the pits back when? Still some dynamite. I owe my life to you. Don't look at me! Here it is. I just get plenty of distance. fish they could ever want. Oh, what the chimichurri was that boom? You do have an eye for opportunity. After all, it's not TNT the locals are short of. <laughs> Oh, 
unlisted fish they could ever want. In that first bang, I knew it was you. So, come show me what you got this time. Ah, that burnt reek. Ugh. Hand over whatever it is and I'll hear your tickets. Hurry, drifters. The boat is leaving soon, and nobody wants you to miss it. So, this is it. We're leaving paradise behind. You never talked much about family and the like. But you're dead serious about this, aren't you? No matter. I made a vow to defend you. And I don't break an oath. Even if a blind man could see you leap into the deepest pit of dung. I have never asked anything of you, Firstborn. Not when you stole away a tiptoe, leaving the family burden at your little sister's door. Our father Lord, is accused of high treason. Dare you to believe it? Will you now stand I by, knowing gentle father is in dungeon? It must kill him. Please come home. We need you. Is it really you, dearest sibling? I never dared hope you'd return. Do you remember Bright Sands? Of course you do. We loved it here. It's changed now. The Royal Council support Uncle Edvard. Father barely cold, and he's pulling everything down. Those houses. You never said how wealthy you were. <laughs> Why were we selling fish and sleeping in barns? Never told your friend of good and sons. There is much to be said, but not now. Dear father's funeral begins. Where have you been? Without you brats, we'll never be done with this obligation. Looks like death claimed the wrong brother. No matter, so few are here, when they are the few he loved most. Nobody likes a traitor, let alone his tainted offspring. Better make yourself scarce. We shall, dear sibling, for now. I have acquired a small island with the last of my funds, and passage for all still loyal to father. Together, we shall clear his name, or die trying. Your sister reminds me of you. Must mean new adventures await, old pal. This is it. Ditch water. End of the world. I hope you like it quiet. What? Still here? Establishing a rival company? On that disheveled island? Let Uncle Edvard scoff. A modest island, yes, but if you're at all like father, you'll look beyond appearances. 
We must shelter the good, loyal people who have shown solidarity with our family. We need every hand we can get if we are to expunge this debris. Milestone. Timber, very good. I'll try not to think of the coffin. Do you remain here out of spite? Or is this some futile attempt at competition? As you are so desperate to appear responsible, you'll be pleased to hear the cost of that fantastical funeral falls to you. Miserly, uncharitable dastard, picking and choosing what he inherits. Everything you've built so far consumed wood. We'll be needing more of it to continue. There aren't enough of us! You need a warehouse, you do. We're taking every care. See what slander Edvard Prince and Bright Sands. Samuel's child, is it? Thank heavens. I am so ashamed of every single word your uncle had me to He twists every article in his favor at our and father's expense. Check on my little ones. 
thought I was off to the workhouse. Need something first. Father wouldn't have wanted us to sit on our hands while our one prospect was in such a state. So let's gather our townsfolk and ask them to spruce the place up.
your city has grown more beautiful. Morning is eased. Now we have others for company, sibling. It's been a hard day of labor for us all. We should cater to our tired, hungry people. Every rose has its thorns. We put our love into this.
reached a new milestone. Help enough to demolish the larger ruins. Let's breathe some life into this place. It's been a long, hard day. The people need to rest and maybe wet their whistles. Farm? We know fields. The land can only be farmed if there are enough fields. We must plant them. We need more farm hands. Workforce shortage.
feels an eternity since the funeral. And the cast! Oh, why, it was extortionate. Repay me now, or sell up. I feel sick to the stomach that Edvard could ask so much of us so soon after father's death. are recovered and desirous to proceed. Set them to it. We're going to need as much space as we can clear. Speak to our humble cousin. He writes of a worker riot in Bright Sands. It seems we are not alone in our contempt for Edvard. Ready to repay my charity? Ready to repay my charity? Don't think you're finished, brat. Tell me you've managed something. Baa ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Four bags full. Is there no limit to Uncle's shameless demands? No space left here. Rare for promises to be kept. Thank you. Speak to our humble cousin. He writes of a worker riot in Bright Sands.
commerce and industry can haul good and sons back from the grave. We'd rather die than stay. Our flags still wave for Samuel. Let Edvard oppress us no more! A life away from Edvard? We're on board. Only we've no ship to get on board of. If you pick me, you may have my boat. It's my poor aunt's legacy. Her second husband was a decent sailor. Everybody on board? Good. What? Has your cleft of the family no shame that it now resorts to abducting my workers? The Queen's ambassador himself shall hear of this. Abduction is a severe accusation. And if I may, uh, excuse me, a false one. We left Edvard quite willingly. Pencil polishing, Poppinjay. I should have been rid of you long ago. I see nothing criminal. A bit of interfamilial bickering is only natural, <laughs> and hardly a matter for the Crown. And as for you, I have quite forgotten my manners. Sir Archibald Blake, ambassador and confidant to the Queen. Despite the circumstances, Her Majesty and I were pleased to hear of your return. Your father's death was a tragedy. We regret he never had the chance of a fair trial. The real tragedy here is the vast funeral bill that goes unpaid, while this brat is living the life of O'Reilly. Sadly, your uncle has indeed alerted me to some uh, floating liabilities. I fear you have no choice but to settle them if I am to grant you your crown shipping license. Edvard registered the debt officially. Don't worry. That old tyrant can't hold us back anymore. Indeed. Once my letterpress is up and running, the truth will come back to haunt Edvard. Uh, for your hospitality, please use my ship howsoever you may wish. Now that sounds like good news. As to the debt, my hands are tied, but it may warm Her Majesty's heart to see a new enterprise taking shape. Maybe Edvard will try to prevent us owning a shipyard, but for now, let's at least house those workers. Workforce shortage.
you reward our hard graft. You reached a new milestone. Workers can handle stubborn debris on ditch water. If it's to be the center of our new enterprise, it needs to be immaculate. Our dream of a shipyard is impossible without plenty of qualified hands. Several passionate young reporters enlisted, our publishing house is already well underway. Get some rest. It's going to be a long I know you're busy, but I have a favour to ask. I got something perplexing, need set and straight. section is sure to grow along with your city. We are fine-tuning the first issue as we speak. Day for a day. You reached a new milestone. You have father's fortitude. These people will follow you as they once followed him. Worthless rags have barely covered anything. Now, bring me sails. It's not like you have any use for them. Clearly, Uncle's intention is to keep us from ever owning a shipyard. A competitor raised a settlement.
Howdy, damn you! We need more farm hands. Workforce shortage. You will not spoil my... Inferno fast! Workforce shortage.
Town don't have a warehouse. I'm happy as a sand boy. Will you build us another castle? Spare a thought for us. A little love is all we ever want. I have discovered some inefficiencies we ought to address. Stop, make sure the like button, make sure the subscribe button.